Hey everyone, Jason Hill here, and today I am preparing a corned beef and cabbage with other veggies in a slow cooker or in my crock pot. And this is a popular uh, recipe for St. Patrick's Day here in America. And that's the day that everybody's Irish. So, there's always different ways to do it. I've talked to friends who make this, and I've looked up recipes, and I think this is one of the best ways. So let me show you how I do it. All right, I picked up this four pound brisket at my local Costco and it has already been brined, it's partially seasoned, and we're only gonna do a couple things to it before we put it in the cooker. All right, first we're just gonna spread three tablespoons of Dijon white wine mustard. I'm just gonna rub that around. And once you coat it, you can do it underneath if you like, but that's fine. After that, I'm going to add about a cup of brown sugar. I'm just going to pack that on there. Now we're just going to set the brisket inside our slow cooker. If you have any leftover brown sugar, you can put some in there. Okay, we're adding our veggies. I have a cup of parsnips, a cup of baby carrots, 12 boiler ovens or pearl onions, fresh, and then 12 to 15 fingerling potatoes. Okay, now we're gonna add a 14.9 ounce can of Guinness Stout, or you can use your favorite Irish beer, or you don't even have to use beer. You can just put some water in there. Here we go. So you see it's barely to the top of the brisket and that's about what you want. Okay, we're gonna set this on low for 10 hours and then we're gonna check it at about hour nine and that's when we're gonna add the cabbage. Okay, it's the next day. It's almost been in the crock pot for 10 hours and that's when I like to add my cabbage. So I have a whole head here that I'm gonna cut up and of course I've already washed it. So let's get that going. Okay, so I cut it in half. And what I like to do, I don't know if you can get this, but I like to just take my knife and go in at it at an angle. And this is just basically corn out the stem part there. Oh boy, it smells absolutely wonderful. I'm just gonna drop my wedges down in there. You can even steam these if you wanted to, using some of the broth as your steam bath. And then I'm just gonna let these go for about another half hour and we will be ready to plate up. Okay, we are finally done. I'm going to remove the brisket and let it rest on the cutting board for a good 10 minutes or so. Okay, carefully going to place it on my cutting board. There we go. This is looking perfect. Okay, it's been resting about 10 minutes. Let's plate up. Take off the end and you always want to slice going against the grain. So you can get some nice slices coming off of here. Oh boy, there we go. Corned beef, cabbage, and vegetables. Get some cabbage in there. Some other veggies, parsnips, carrots, potatoes. Potatoes. Okay, after what, 10 or 12 hours, it's finally time to eat this. Here we go. I love St. Patrick's Day because this is the only time we ever make corned beef and cabbage and vegetables. Mmm. The 
the tang of the corned beef and the little sweetness of the broth with that cabbage. Very easy, very tasty. Get a little piece of onion in here. Oh, wow. Well, give this recipe a try this uh, St. Patrick's Day. You won't be disappointed. And as always, thanks for tubing in. Dog.